You know, I think there is nothing I despise more continually happening with another person than the devaluation that happens from narcissistic people when they just truly can't stop. When they have taken your value and diminished it to the point where you are so far beneath them, you're so nothing, that they become indifferent to you. They become indifferent to your feelings. They become indifferent to how the things they say affect you, to the way they speak to you. You're no longer treated kindly. You're no longer treated with respect. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships with narcissistic people in your life. Have you been devalued? Let me know in the comments if this is something you can relate to. So pretty much what happens with a narcissist is there's the love bombing and the devaluation cycle of the relationship. In the beginning, when everything is just wonderful, a narcissistic person will idealize you, okay? They will most often be giving you a lot of attention, a lot of affection, a lot of their best side, especially covert narcissists, okay? They will seem humble. They will seem... So I don't want to make this all about that. What I want to talk about here is the experience of being devalued. So let's, so let's fast forward to the point where all of that stops. All of that goodness stops and they start to tear you down. They no longer listen when you're hurt. They no longer will have conversations about things that they've done that are affecting you in a negative way. They no longer will listen to when you're not feeling well. They will no longer listen to you at all. Instead, they say you're complaining. Instead, they say you are negative all the time. You're, I'm not saying you're perfect and you're doing everything just right and they're wrong. What I'm saying here is they take normal human things like feeling unwell or maybe having had past things in your life that are kind of difficult or having bad days or going through struggles in your life and they start to see you as lesser than because of it. They devalue the person. They basically no longer see them as a good person and they start seeing them as someone who can't get out of a problem, someone who can't take care of themselves, someone that, you know, they start to take the value they once had for you and they diminish it. And they do this so that they do not have to be accountable for anything to you. They do not have to deal with your feelings or emotions. They do. A narcissist doesn't want to do any of that stuff because they want it all their way. They want all your focus and attention on them. They, they, they want your life together to be about the life they need it to be about, not the one that is yours. And so anything that pulls the attention away from them and onto you is something they're going to devalue. It's something they're going to knock down and then start seeing you as lesser than. So if someone is talking down to you and you feel like you're constantly having to defend who you are and defend yourself in conversation, you're most likely being devalued by that person. If they're pointing out your flaws, if they're using your vulnerabilities and turning them on you, if you've told them things about yourself, like say you have some physical illness that, that you know, is a recurring thing in your life. And then they turn it on you and say, well, I can't have any fun because you have this illness. Should I just have to sit around? You know what I'm saying? When they take these things and they take and they attach it to your value rather than seeing it as a situation in your life that you're working through, that's the devaluation cycle. And it is draining because when someone in your life is devaluing you and you're already struggling with something, or you're already feeling your normal life feelings, then you're trying to spend your whole time proving yourself to them instead of improving your own life. It's like you have no support. The support of a narcissist falls away. You no longer have the love bombing that held you up in the relationship and any form of idealization that held you up. They do the exact opposite. And when that happens, your self-esteem goes with it your feelings of validity for your own life goes with it. You start to feel like giving up in the relationship and you might feel worthless. I guess what I'm saying here is if you are being devalued and you're feeling all of these things in a relationship, it's time to think about the state of the relationship that you're in or the relationships that you're in and find ways to place value upon yourself, to set boundaries with toxic people, to set boundaries with healthy people. Stop people pleasing. Stop doing the things 
that feed this feelings of devaluation within oneself, right? Because the narcissistic person will devalue you, which then creates a part of you that feels like it needs to fix. It feels like it needs affection and attention and to be worthy to another human being, right? So that dance goes back and forth. If you just step out and start taking care of you and stop worrying about the narcissist devaluation and start becoming indifferent to it or get out of the situation if you can, things might start to shift for you. About it. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced the devaluing from a narcissistic or a toxic person. So then my challenge for you is what helped you to get away from it? What helped you to feel better about yourself? And when did you realize this was a them thing and not a you thing? I'll see you guys in the next video.